Yo, what's up guys? So today I wanted to show you all some awesome tips and tricks for using that new magic keyboard and trackpad combo with your iPad Pro. Before we get started though, make sure to get subscribed to the channel. Give me a follow on Twitter if you wanna stay up to date with the latest and greatest and check out our Discord forum where there's more useful information similar to what we were talking about today. Now with that said, let's get started. Okay, so first up is probably the most crucial command when it comes to using this keyboard, and it shows you a layout of all of the function and command key operations that you can do. So to view this, just hold down the command key and a UI box will show you all of the available commands for the iPadOS UI. If you are by chance in an app and you need to know what your options are, you can still use this function and the menu will show you all of the commands for that specific app. Another simple tip is if you are anywhere in the iPadOS UI and you want to go back home, you don't have to swipe up from the bottom of your iPad anymore. Just use the command H combination to go back to the home screen. And with that command, you'll be finding yourself cleaning those finger smudges off of your screen a lot less frequently. Now past that, there are still functions that don't show up on that menu I was talking about before when you hold down the command button. They're sort of hidden or secret functions here, but there are a few for you to remember. When you go into the app switcher by pressing the command and tab keys together, you can actually quit an app by highlighting it and then while still holding the command key, just press the letter Q and that will quit that specific app. When you need to use the emoji keyboard, just use the globe icon on the smart keyboard, bottom left hand corner, and that will cycle through your available keyboard so you can access your emoji keyboard without having to touch your screen in any extra steps. Now, if you want to search for anything specific on your iPad via the spotlight search, just press the command plus space bar, and that will take you to the spotlight search where you can search for whatever you are looking for on your iPad, or you can also search the web and app store from here as well. If you want to take a screenshot and save it to your camera roll immediately, hold down the command shift and the number three. On the other hand, if you want to take a screenshot and open it up in the markup app, hold down command shift and the number four. Okay, so those were a few tidbits of information on the commands that are possible. If you want to know more secret functions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to make a separate video featuring as many of those that I know. Now, next up, let's go over some of the trackpad functions that you can use to navigate. So first off, you can click anywhere on this trackpad to access your basic click functions. But if you want to right click specifically, do the same click as before, just use two fingers instead of one. If you want to go home without touching your home screen, you can use Command H, or you can take three fingers and swipe up on the trackpad. That will take you to your home screen, but if you do it once more and then hold your three fingers at the top of that swipe, that will activate the app switcher. If you want to access the spotlight search without using the command keys, go to the home screen and take two fingers and swipe down. That will take you to the spotlight search. Now, if you want to access the slide over feature, take the cursor and go to the right of the screen. Keep on going past the edge of the screen and that will activate the slide over feature. In the slide over menu, you can navigate between different apps by swiping left or right on the trackpad with three fingers. When you are done using the slide over effect, do the same as you did to activate it. Just go all the way to the right with your cursor and the slide over menu will disappear. So as you can see, the trackpad is a really cool new feature with the Magic Keyboard. It just gives you a ton of more options with navigation and everything like that. But if you want to customize any trackpad settings, just go into the settings app, then onto general and tap on the trackpad menu. Here you can adjust the tracking speed and how your trackpad will be operated and kind of work alongside iPadOS UI. Now, one feature that a lot of people don't like is the cursor conforming to different UI elements that it comes into close contact with. To disable that feature, go into the settings app and then onto the accessibility menu. From there, go into the pointer control menu and here you can see the option to turn the pointer animations on or off. Quite simply put, you just disable that feature if you want to uh, not have your cursor grabbing onto those UI elements as it travels past them. When you change that specific setting, it just makes the entire trackpad and iPad experience more like a Mac. So if you were coming from a Mac, this would be one of the first things I do to make the transition between Mac and the iPad just a little bit easier. Next up is a tip to controlling the backlight brightness on your keyboard. To change the lighting manually and not rely on the iPad sensor, you want to go into the settings app, then go onto general and click on the keyboard menu. From there, go into the hardware keyboard menu and you'll find a slider where you can control the backlight brightness of your Magic Keyboard. 
Now, naturally, this is taken care of automatically, but you can, of course, change the setting if you don't like the automatic brightness of the Magic Keyboard and want to change it yourself. Okay guys, so those were a few tips and tricks I had for you guys who want a better understanding of how to use the Magic Keyboard with trackpad with your iPad Pro. Of course, if you want to ask me any questions about today's video or anything else in general, hit me up in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to get back to you ASAP. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Also get subscribed and hit that notification bell button so you don't miss out on any future content. So hopefully I see you in some up coming content, but until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.